Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Wall. My name is Navin Tamishetti. Today we will discuss on uh, CAN Active in Angular. I will continue posting on uh, route guards in my upcoming videos. So please do subscribe and hit the bell icon uh, for latest updates. You can also contact me in, through my Gmail, uh, codingwall at the gmail.com. So even you can ping me in uh, Instagram uh, at the red coding wall. So let's get started to the introdu introduction. So here I have created a uh, login uh, login here. Uh, first of all, I will delete the token from my local storage. So I have given it simple simple login. Uh, if I enter something and uh, I just log in to my page. Now I want to navigate navigate to first component. So what the logic is? If there is no uh, uh, token, we can't uh, we can't log into the uh, we can't uh, navigate to the first component. So right now I have the first uh, token. So I have navigated to the first component. So if I go back and if I just remove this token from the local storage, and if I go to now first page, I'm redirecting to the login page, or we can directly restrict them and uh, settle them in the uh, dashboard page itself without uh, uh, without navigating to the further pages so how I have done this so let's get to the coding part so let's start with the coding part so coming to okay. so first of all I have already created uh, three components one is login component and one is uh, dashboard component and uh, one is first component so i have started a routing uh, router outlet and uh, i took the routing module route uh, route module app route module and i have uh, given a particular routing to this and now what we will do is on login on login we will uh, save a um, token token string in uh, local storage okay so let us start from this and uh, later we will go to the uh, can active method i will let you know why, why we are using uh, uh, this type um, this method so here i have already created the form just uh, so i'm writing a login form okay here i will what i will do is this dot uh, first uh, we will save the um, token inside the local storage okay for this we will use a set item after set item we need to first uh, define it uh, name token token comma uh, actual token this dot token okay and later i need to navigate this to dashboard okay from the dashboard we will uh, start doing the um, navigation uh, like route guard can act method okay for this i will do this dot uh, route dot navigate navigate so this we will strings and dash port. okay let us say let us check if it is working or not okay. if we enter anything it will work i have just uh, given it for basic part so okay it is uh, navigating to the dashboard dashboard now what we will do is we will uh, create a function mm. we'll set up here we'll set a we'll set a click click function click button and we will start doing navigation thing here itself okay so i will give a logout button to to just uh, remove the uh, token from the local storage okay ptn click function here Here I will give a click function, logout function. 
logo 10 here we will give a navigation a navigation to the first component i will write a um, i will uh, design a button here and we will uh, navigate from here I'll just copy this just paste it here Here we'll do nav to first component. Okay, now to first component. Here we'll replace this function to nav to first. Okay, so we'll save here and check whether the UI is okay. We need to uh, declare the functions here. We need to create functions. Okay. What I will do is first we will write logout function and uh, now one second I will copy this. Now this dot route dot navigation no, sorry navigate first comp and later we will give a logout to logout and I will clear log which I am saving a uh, token which I am saving in local storage I will clear this uh, token by, by using logout function and we will uh, directly navigate this to login page this dot uh, out dot navigate login okay so up to here it is okay okay if I click here it is navigating to the uh, first component page so now here what we will do is uh, we will um, we need to first create the uh, auth card okay before that we will uh, we need to write something that uh, um, inside auth service we need a uh, we need a function which returns whether the whether login was happened or not so for that we need to write a function which returns which returns true and false okay for that what I will do is I will write a login logged in logged in function it returns it returns local storage dot uh, get item of token okay it doesn't return anything now if I give like this it will it will return it will return to or false okay so uh, to create a auth guard we just need to give this thing Al already I have uh, uh, given I already have created auth guard uh, services service files so uh, if you want to create auth guard service you just need to give ngg ngg guard auth so it will create a direct auth guard files there will be two files here so first thing I don't need a activate shot activated route shot so I'm removing activated route shot and uh, and again I don't need a router snapshot so I need router router okay and, uh, and one more thing I need to remove this thing I'll remove the whole thing and uh, I will add a constructor inside the constructor we will private first thing of service I'll import auth service here I'll di auth service later route route 
order okay so i don't need uh, observable here so i'm removing observable and uh, i'll create a function here which returns true and false so for that we need to write can activate oh i need to move this whole thing i just need to return boolean like true or false that's it so i'm removing everything now here i need to write if condition inside if condition i will write this dot auth service dot log thin it will return true or false right so i will do return true it will return true else else this dot i need to if if it is false then i will return it to that login page so for that i need to write this dot route route dot navigate inside this i will write login and return false return false so up to here we are good and now we need to write something in router component router module so for that what we need to do is so i got the uh, it is based on true or false we need to navigate to first component so for that uh, we need to write can activate is to auth auth guard so which of the component you are giving you need to mention it here so what this will do is it will uh, route the component to um, what do you call uh, it, it, it returns uh, it returns true or false according to that it will it will uh, decide whether we uh, whether user need to navigate to um, dashboard to first page or not so let us check this happened or not so i came here i'm clicking on nav to first component it is navigating if i go back and if you log out and again come so here we can see that there is no token present here so i'm again going back okay if i click on nav to first component it directly navigates to login page if i click something if i enter something and if i log in it is in, uh, navigated to navigate to first uh, it is navigated to dashboard now i can see that there is a token here inside the local storage we have a token if i click on nav to nav to first component it will be navigated to the first component because we have we have token here and inside the logic we are giving um, in auth guard we are giving that uh, if it is true we need to navigate to first page so in this way we can write the um, can act to methods and route guards so please do subscribe and keep on watching my videos so that uh, i will uh, share remaining videos i will post the remaining videos on uh, route guards like uh, Mm, uh, on destroy uh, everything uh, everything uh, which are related to the route guards um, so please do subscribe and uh, uh, thanks for watching this